Lie down on your back in Shavasana. Flex comfortably apart, arms apart, close to the body, palms turned up. Bring the chin towards the chest and allow the neck muscles to relax. Begin to relax the whole body. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck, head and the face. Become aware of your mind. Let go the thoughts of the day. Relax the mind. Who is this Metre? Can I know? Monday. Sorry? Focus on the breath. Take a few deep abdominal breaths. Feel the abdomen expand as you inhale and contract the abdomen as you exhale. Make the breath slow, long and deep. Becoming more and more aware of each passing breath. Relax the body, relax the mind. Just a few more breaths here. Bring your legs together, take a deep inhalation, interlock your fingers and arms over the head, stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and sit up. Let's begin the class with the prayer, sit up straight. Gajananam Bhutakanadi Sevitam Kapit Jambu Palisar Bakshikam Umasutam Shokavinasha Karanam Namami Vignature Bad Pankajam Sharananam Kumkumarakti Varnam Mahamatim Devimayura Vahanam Rudra Sisunam Sursaninatam Buham Sadaham Sharanam Prabhati Yakunde Dutu Shar Haratapura Yashu Bravastravrata Yavina Vradandamandatakara Yashvita Padmasana Yabrahma Jutu Shankara Prabhupada Deva Isata Pujita 
समं पातु सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जड़िया पहा ओम नम शिवाय गुरुवे सचिदानंद मूर्त है निष्प्रपंचाय शांताय श्री शिवानंदाय ते नम श्री विष्णु देवानंदाय ते नम ओम सर्व मंगल मंगले शिवे सर्वार्थ साधिके शरण्ये त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते ओ शांति 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 ओम श्राय वेलकम टू द क्लास Let's take two deep breaths before we begin the practice of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The first round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One two one two one two one two. of your lungs hold the breath gently and we control slowly exhale round of kapalabhati inhale deeply and begin one two 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 and 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 and
With control, slowly exhale, inhale, exhale, stretch your legs out, check out the tension from your legs, roll the toes clockwise and anti-clockwise, pull the toes in towards the body and push the toes out. Recross the legs, interlock your hands up, stretch your whole body, stretch the body. And now as you exhale, bend down to the right side. Stay there, elbows straight, chest open, focus on the breath. Bring the right hand down to the mat, right elbow is bent, left arm stretching away. Breathe with full awareness. Inhale, come up, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up. And as you exhale, bend down to the left side. Stay and breathe. Now release the left hand to the mat and stretch the right arm away from the body with right palm facing down. Keep breathing. Throughout the practice, be fully aware of your breath. Inhale, come up, interlock your fingers, stretch up, stretch up, and exhale, bring your arms down. Now get ready for the alternate nostril breathing. Place your right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra, both the hands on your knees. Take a deep breath, inhale, lengthen your back, open your chest, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Block the right nostril with your right thumb. Left inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold, close the nostrils. Keep the chest open, shoulders rolled back. Left 
left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Close the nostrils, hold the breath. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain gently. Relax the body. Bring the awareness at the third eye center. Mentally repeating your mantra. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold gently. No pressure on the lungs. No pressure on the heart. Relax the body. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath. Relax the face, soften your eyes. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. <coughs> Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain gently. Keep the spine straight, body relaxed. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain. This is the last round, the seventh round. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down. Both the hands on your knees in chin mudra. Take a while here. Stay quiet with your eyes closed. Now we're preparing for 10 rounds of Brahmri, the practice of Brahmri. I will quickly explain it. Block your ears with the middle fingers. And please listen to the instructions first before you begin. If you block the ears, you cannot listen to the instructions. So blocking the ears with your middle fingers. Sit with your back straight and chest open, elbows pointing outwards. Inhale, and while you exhale out, hum the sound of Om through the nose. 
sound of humming bee. So your inhalations have to be long for the exhalations to be longer. If you breathe short, then you can't exhale out long. So try to inhale long to exhale out long and do 10 rounds on your own. After finishing 10 rounds, lie down on your back in Shavasana or your own practice, carry on. So block your ears now. Inhale a deep breath and hum the sound of Om through the nose. Continue with the practice. Enjoy the gentle, soothing, healing vibrations of home. Absorb this wonderful energy. Relax the whole body. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch the whole body. Move your toes forward and pull the toes in. Stretch, stretch, release the stretch, bend the knees, hug the knees to the chest. Press the lower back to the mat and now tuck your hands, interlock your fingers under the head. Inhale and exhale, rub the knees to the right, head to the left, stay there. Take a few breaths, knees resting down, feet one on top of the other, resting on the floor. Shoulders relaxed, elbows on the mat. Feel the chest open and focus on the breath. Deep abdominal breathing. Inhale, come back to the center and exhale, drop the knees to the left, turn the head to the right. Relax the body completely. Inhale, slowly come up. 
Hug the knees with your hands and rock the body forward and backward. You can bring the hands under the thighs also and rock five to six times before you stand up for sun salutation. Come to the top of your mat with your feet together. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The first round of sun salutation. Feet together, inhale, and exhale. Palms to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Look up, hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the right leg forward between the hands. Look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, join the palms to the chest in prayer. Inhale, lengthen your arms up along the ears. Push your bodies forward, look up with the hands. Exhale, stretch your body forward and stretch down. Inhale, the right leg back, right knee down, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, tuck your abdomen in. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Weight of the body equally distributed on the eight parts which are touching down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra, relax the shoulders, release the chest of the mat. Exhale, inverted V. <coughs> press the heels down, press the hands down. Inhale, bring the right leg forward between the hands. Left knee down, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Press the hands down, shift your body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale, and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms apart, back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Third round, inhale, feet together. Exhale, hands to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg stretch back. Hold the breath, left leg back. Stay there and breathe. Tuck the abdomen in, shoulders on top of the wrist. Look down, do not stretch your chin forward or do not tuck the chin in. Just keep the head in the neutral position. Exhale, knees down, but up, chest down and the forehead or chin down. Slide your body forward, inhale, arch back. Cobra, exhale, inverted V. 
Let's breathe here. Push the heels down. Try not to walk forward. Do not change the position of your hands and feet. Push the mat forward with your hands. Separate the fingers slightly. Keeping the upper arms in line with the ears, push the chest down. And feel the difference in the posture once you push the chest down. Automatically, the body becomes a good V-shape. Keep pressing down, tuck the abdomen in. Inversions and semi-inversions, very good postures for the deep breath breathing. And the next inhalation, bring your right leg forward between the uh, hands. Push the left leg more back, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. And exhale, release. Separate your legs apart, take a breather, relax the body, slow down the breath. Get ready for the fourth round, feet together, inhale and exhale in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, bring the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, lengthen your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, join the palms to the chest in prayer. Inhale, lengthen your body first, arms up, and then push your buttocks forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, lengthen your body forward and then reach down, hands and feet in line. You can bend the knees, inhale the right leg back, right knee down, stretch the chin up, right leg more back. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Watch your body, keep it in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Press down and lift that energy up. Tuck the abdomen in. Inhale, bring the right leg forward and push the left leg more back. Feel the chest more, open more. Exhale, the left leg forward. Press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward. Stretch up and arch back. Push your buttocks forward. Look up all the way. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale. Prayer position. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg all the way back. Look up, hold the breath, right leg back, body in one straight line, tuck the abdomen in, watch it. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, arch back, inhale into cobra. 
Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward and stretch apart, back, look up. Exhale, release. Last round, the sixth round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest in prayer. Inhale, arms apart, back first, arms apart and then arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and then reach down. Inhale, the right leg all the way back, a little more back than the previous rounds. Hold the breath, left leg back with full awareness, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest in prayer. Inhale, arms apart back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Exhale, the right leg back. Oh, so I'm so sorry. Knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, lengthen your body forward, stretch up, push your buttocks forward, arch back all the way. And exhale, release. Separate the legs apart. Relax the body, relax the breath. And please sit down and lie down on your back in Shavasana. Take rest, relax. Do a very mindful practice each day when you join the class. Become aware of your breath, aware of the tensions and the tightness in the body. And don't continue with a tired body. Whenever you have to, you must take rest and relax for a while. Once the breath slows down, focus on deep abdominal breathing. Drink plenty of warm water all through the day. Take a deep inhalation, join your legs together, interlock your fingers and give a long stretch to the body. Stretch your arms over the head, stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, fix your arms close to the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pointing up. Bring the chin towards the chest, single leg raises. With full awareness, take a deep breath, inhale, lift your right leg up. Knee straight, push the heel out, exhale with control, bring the leg down. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, the right leg, a little less than what you're doing so that the knees can remain straight. 
and the back can press down. Do not lift the back up. Push the left thigh closer down to the floor and exhale, bring the leg down. Left leg up, inhale, the same way. Understand your body, do not overdo with your body. Exhale, bring the leg down. And now bring the right leg up as you inhale, catch hold of the right thigh, pull the leg closer towards the body. And on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, hands more up, come up. Keep the knees straight, but do not lock the knees. You must understand the difference between locking and straightening the knees. Stretch your chin gently up towards the right toes. Shoulders are away from the ears. Bend the elbows to open the chest. And breathe deeply. Focus on the breath, keeping the body relaxed. Left thigh pushing down. Both the legs are equally active. Happy hold the back of the thigh. Don't go so further up with your hands. And slowly exhale, bring the head and chest down, bend the knee to the chest, hug it tightly. And now, once again, we'll focus on the deep breathing, stretch your right arm in line with the right shoulder. And with your left hand, bring the right knee down to the left side, turn the head to the right. You have full awareness on the breath, relax the body. Shoulders are pressing down. And the right lung, is fully open, the right side of the chest. So use this time to focus on your breath and do some deep abdominal breathing. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, close to the chest. Lift your leg up, inhale, the right leg. And with control, exhale, lower the leg to the mat. Left side, inhale, raise the left leg up, hold the thigh and pull the leg in. On the exhalation, head up, chest up, come up. You need to walk the hands only if you are comfortable. Do not do what is not good for you. Push the right thigh down, adjust your body, relax the body and focus on abdominal breathing. And slowly as you exhale, bring the head and chest down, bend the knee to the chest, hug it tightly. Now stretching the left arm in line with the left shoulder, with your right hand, bring the left knee down to the right side. The position of the left foot, you can either hook it behind the right thigh or you can place it just in front of the right thigh, touching down to the, touching down the floor. Relax the body and practice deep abdominal breath. Inhale, slowly come back up, hug the knee to the chest and raise the leg up on the inhalation. With the exhalation, bring the leg down. Adjust your body for double leg raises. For a week back, hands under the buttocks, arms under the body. If you're okay, you can place your arms close to the body or tuck the hands under the head, whichever way you're comfortable. Inhale, lift both your legs up. And with control, slowly exhale, bring the legs down. Inhale, legs up, back pressing down. Exhale, bring the legs with control down. Inhale, third time up, chin is towards the chest. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, 
exhale down and bring your hands, release your hands, release the legs down, bring the knees to the chest, press the load back to the mat. Now stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Exhale, drop the knees to the right and move the knees just a little more up towards the shoulder if, you, if your body allows. Then straighten the legs out. Head is turned towards the left. Once again, focus on deep abdominal breathing. We'll stay here comfortably. Now bend the knees, inhale, come up. And as you exhale, bring the knees down to the left side. Draw the knees more up if your knees are too far away from the chest and then stretch your legs out. Relax the neck muscles, relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Focus on the breath, which goes without saying. Be fully aware of your mind, body, and the breath in this one and a half hours. We are lucky to be here practicing together. So thank God for this practice. Bend the knees, inhale, come up. Use your hands to hug the knees, press the load back to the mat. Inhale, stretch your legs up. And with control, slowly exhale, bring the legs down. Relax for two breaths in Shavasana. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms over the head. Stretch the body, release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side, please sit up into the child's posture, Shankasan. Every posture here has a meaning. So even if you do not do the headstand, you can relax into the child's pose. And please sit up, sit up on the heels. If you're not doing the headstand, you are either into the child's pose or Shavasana or come up into the first few steps of headstand as we demonstrate on screen. So everybody together, if you're ready, sit up on the heels, hold the opposite elbows. Even with body issues, you can do comfortably till, I, uh, till the point where I suggest you. Now place your forearms down along the knees. Stretch your arms forward. Interlock your fingers. Lift your buttocks up, placing the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, lift the knees up and walk forward. Find your back straight. So comfortably hold it here, even if you're not up into the headstand. Most of the benefits you draw into this posture, whatever you get into the headstand. Now, moving further, bend the knees one by one to the chest. Bring the knees up towards the ceiling. And then stretch your legs up into the headstand. As I told you earlier, inversions and semi-inversions are wonderful postures to enhance deep breathing. So if not for anything else, hold it for Breathing. Keep the legs relaxed. Keep the body relaxed. Close your eyes if you're comfortable.
And now we are ready to release the asana. Bend the knees, bring the knees to the chest and release the legs down into the child's pose for a while. Please sit up and lie down on your back in Shavasana. Your arms apart, legs apart. Turn the head side to side. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your whole body, stretch the body, release the stretch, get ready for the Sarvangasana, arms close to the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes pointing up, chin to the chest, inhale, raise the legs up, exhale, swing the trunk up and support your back into the shoulder stand. And now adjust your body, either moving here and there to straighten the back or bend the knees to the forehead. Bring the uh, elbows just a little closer by adjusting your shoulder blades. And then walk your hands lower towards the middle back. And now lift your legs up when you're ready. And find yourself a comfortable position. It's more important to have a relaxed breath. Try pushing the buttocks towards the head and align the heels, buttocks and the shoulders. But hold wherever you are comfortable. Let's count on the breath today. Consciously take 15 deep breaths. Long inhalations and long exhalations. On the next breath, please straighten up a little more and get ready for the halas and variations. On the exhalation, bring the right leg with control over the head. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Once more, exhale the right leg down. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down, inhale up, adjust your body and on the exhalation release with control both the legs over the head in halasana. So just be happy wherever you are holding. You can keep the legs parallel to the floor if the body is not yet ready. I want you to focus on deep breathing today so do not worry if you do lesser than what you do in every class, but keep the body relaxed and the breath deep and relaxed. Free up your body, free up the breath by straightening your back.
And now placing your arms on the mat, palms down, using your arms as breaks, lift the feet off the floor, one vertebra at a time. Start to release the spine on the mat and using the abdominal strength, bring the legs down. Relax in Shavasana for two breaths, turn the head side to side. Take your time when you come out of the posture. Moving out of the posture is as important as when you move into the posture. Get ready for Setu Bandhasana. Bend the knees, place the feet on the mat. Hold your ankles, feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, lift your buttocks high up and come up. So try to lift the buttocks as high up as you can. Bring the thigh, uh, your thighs become parallel to the floor and bring the chest close to the chin. Stay up and breathe. And slowly exhale, bring the body down. Hug the knees to the chest. Press the lower back to the mat. Inhale, stretch the legs up. And exhale, lower the legs to the mat. Now, get ready for giving a counter stretch to the body. Arms tucked under the body, hands stretching down. Elbows close to the chest. Inhale, head up, chest up, come up on your elbows, look to the toes, come up higher, arch your back, open the chest up, and exhale, release the head to the mat, top of the head. Now understand how open your chest is, how open your lungs are. You breathe deeply and slowly. Let's focus on deep abdominal breathing, and 15 deep breaths is what you should be taking now. Slow inhale, pause, slow exhale, pause. This is one slow breath. And this is my daily practice, which I am teaching you today. My main focus is on the breath. I'm doing a very simple, basic practice. Nothing more than this. Inhale, head up, chest up, come up. And exhale, bring the head and chest down. Bring your arms out. Make fist around the thumbs and rotate the wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. Turn the head side to side. It's the basic practice which brings benefits to the body. Once in a while, once in a week, maybe you can choose to do something more advanced. But every day you should stick to the basic practice and hold a little longer than usual. Now bend the knees, join the soles together. Let's move into the Supta Bhadakonasan and focus on active breath, active exhalations. The placement of the feet is according to your own practice, your own body. Do not feel tension in the body. Allow the knees to relax by relaxing the inner thighs. Now stretch your legs out 
and give a long stretch to the body, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly. Sit up straight, hold the toes and flap your knees. Keep the chin parallel to the floor and keep your eyes closed. <clears throat> if you've been practicing for quite some time, it's a good idea to keep the eyes closed during the entire practice. That will help you move inwards. The practice becomes meditative as soon as you close your eyes during any asana. Now stretch your legs out and bring the legs apart as wide as comfortable. Your arms in line with the shoulders. Take a deep breath, inhale, and as you exhale, twist your body to the right, your left hand touching the right toe, and right arm is stretching away towards the back, looking towards the right. Chest is open. If you cannot hold the toe, just keep stretching your arms. Inhale, come back to the center, arm stretching out, exhale, twist to the left, and Hold the right toes with your left hand, left arm stretching away, looking to the left side. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back to the center. And now hold the toes. Hold the toes, stay there and breathe. Try to extend from the base of the spine. Make your chest, keep your chest open as much as possible. Do not overdo with your body. A little forward bend is fine here. And only if you're ready, you must stretch as you see on the screen. Slowly as you inhale, come up, join the legs together. Preparing for Paschimottanasana. Feet pointing up. Now let us today bend the knees first. Not too much. Your heels are stretching out, toes are pointing up, knees, it's a little bend in the knee. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And as you exhale, stretch forward, come down on the legs and hold the toes. So bend the knees according to your body. If you cannot reach to the toes with a little bend in the knee, you need to bend more. I want you to place the chest on the thighs and be comfortable here. We'll stretch further, don't worry. Just give yourself some time here and practice some deep abdominal breathing. Every exhalation, pulling the abdomen in and every inhalation, extending your spine forward. After a few breaths, when you're ready, you can come into the full posture or stay here. Complete surrender of the mind and the body. Slow down the breath. Every exhalation, squeeze the abdomen. Don't forget this. There is no tension absolutely in the body. If you like to point the toes outward, lifting the knees up, you can go ahead, try today. Now, as you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Exhale, bring the hands behind. A counter stretch to the body. This, again, is a breath enhancer. So if you like to be more comfortable, you can keep the knees bent with your feet on the mat. Inhale, lift your buttocks up and come up. Please demonstrate with the knees bent. So this is a very comfortable position where you can breathe for longer than what you would in the leg straight and hold longer. And slowly as you exhale, come down. Relax on your abdomen. 
Today we do the Matsya Kridasan pose. So bend the right knee towards the chest and turn the head to the right. Position of your hands can be just ahead of your head. And you can bring the right elbow and the knee closer. There is no tension in the body. Simply relax and focus on the breath. Move the right leg back, getting ready for Bhujangasan. Place the forehead down, tuck the elbows to the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. So feel the pressure on your abdomen. Release the chest completely off the mat. Stay there and breathe. And slowly exhale, bring the head and chest down and turn the head to the left, relax. Matsi Kridasan pose, bend the left knee up towards the chest, head to the left. So you must make up your mind that you don't miss the practice and come regularly for the classes. There is no escape from the situation. At least we do what is in our hands. Now get ready for Dhanurasan, the bow pose, stretching both the legs back. Bend the knees, hold your ankles, hold it down. Inhale, lift the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up. Stretch the chin up, close your eyes, hold comfortably wherever possible. And slowly exhale, release the posture, place your hands under the shoulders, give yourself a good stretch, come up on the knees and the hands. Your knees under the buttocks and shoulders on top of the wrist, inhale, stretch your chin up, push your buttocks back, arch your back. Exhale, around your back, bring the chin to the chest, tuck the abdomen in. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, come back to the neutral position and let's get ready for the camel pose. Please come up on the knees. So the simplest way, if your body doesn't allow, you can support the back, please demonstrate. You can support the back, arch back and drop the head back and take a couple of breaths, simplest way. The next possible way, tuck the toes in towards the body. Tuck the, come up. Bring the toes in towards the body. Yeah, and hold the ankles. Hold the ankles. And the and slowly come out. Now on screen, we will do the full posture, the proper posture. Come up. Holding the ankles by relaxing the toes away. Push the buttocks forward, drop the head back, and breathe into the open chest. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, let's relax today into the puppy pose or the Anahata Asana. Stretch forward with your arms on the mat. Try to bring the chest down. Your buttocks on top of the knees, in line with the knees. You can bring the chin down or you can place the forehead down. Chest is open, breathe deeply. Uh, 
After a few breaths, maybe you can try to bring the chest down if your chest is above the mat. And now bring the buttocks to, to the heels and relax into the Shashankasana. Arms stretching forward. Inhale, slowly come up. Let's prepare for the half spinal twist or let's keep sitting, keep sitting. Uh, you widen the knees apart. Widen the knees apart. Can, can we see your back? So, see, she's sitting with the knees apart, big toes touching, heels falling apart, and the buttocks resting between the heels. Okay, now come into the same position where you were. We do the Simhasan today, the lion breath or the lion pose. So, keep sitting the way we showed you now. Place your hands between the knees with fingers turned inwards. Okay, now inhale. And as you exhale, push your tongue out with a ha sound. <sighs> Eyes are wide open, looking between the eyebrows. And close your mouth, come up. Let's do this two more times. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Stretch your tongue fully out, open your eyes wide, look between the eyebrows. Elbows are straight. Close your mouth, take a breath and get ready for one last time. Inhale and exhale. Stretch your tongue, open your eyes wide, stretch your face. Keep the elbows straight, hands pressing down strongly. And come back, close your mouth, inhale, normal breathing. And we do one more asana before we do the half spinal twist. If your knees are not happy, you can just skip it or you can do only half part of it. You can sit in cross-legged position or you can sit on the chair. Again, Dr. Pina, please show, show your back. We are doing the Uttan Manduk Asana. So inhale, raise your right arm up, sitting in the same position as we were into the lion pose. On the exhalation, bend the right elbow and bring the right hand towards the left shoulder blade, wherever it may reach. Now, inhale, stretch the left arm up. And as you exhale, bend the left elbow and bring the left hand to the right shoulder blade. So do your best. Do not strain yourself. Keep the chest open, back straight. Take a few breaths. It's a wonderful way to improve the condition of your back, of your neck, and to enhance deep breathing, increase the lung capacity. And now interchange your arms. Just keep your arms there and interchange your arms. Keep breathing. Now inhale, raise your right arm up and both the arms up and release the posture. Bring the knees together, sit facing forward. Let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Drop the body down to the right side. Bring your left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind near the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. It's very simple. You can just hug the knee to the chest and twist your body to the left or you can do the full posture. As you exhale, twist to the left, lean forward, push the left knee with your upper right arm, hold the ankle, and look to the left shoulder. I like to do a pra my practice in a very relaxed way. On some days, the body is just not ready. So I don't force myself at all. I modify, I simplify, and do the postures where my breath can relax. Feel a good twist in the spine. Feel the pressure on the abdomen. Keep the chest open to enhance the breath. Okay. 
Now, as you inhale, stretch your right arm. Exhale, release and change the side. Sitting on the left, bring your right foot across. Bring the right hand behind and stretch your left arm up as you inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the right, lean forward, push the left knee, uh, right knee with your upper left arm, hold the ankle and turn your head to the right. Close your eyes and focus on breathing. Keep the spine straight. Inhale, stretch your left arm up and exhale, bring the arm down. Hug both the knees to the chest, sit up straight. Inhale, stretch your chin up. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest. Back to the center, inhale. Exhale, gently turn the head to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn the head to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring the head down towards the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, towards the left. Inhale, center. Please release and stand up. We do the Trikonasan. Open the legs apart. Turn the right foot to the right. Right foot is perpendicular to the left foot and the buttocks are facing forward. Inhale, stretch your left arm up along the left ear and stretch the left side, relax the right side. On the exhalation, start bending from the waist to the right side. Right hand slides down. Breathe consciously. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, bring the arm down, change the side, turn the right foot out, uh, sorry, the left foot out and right foot in, stretch the right arm up, inhale, lengthen the entire right side of the body and relax the left side. As you exhale, start bending from the waist across to the left. Keep the chest open, try not to lean forward. Moment you lean forward, the chest also bends, squeezes. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, bring the arm down. Join the legs together, come to the top of your mat. We'll do one balancing posture, Utkatasana, and then we sit down. So brush your middle finger by the side of the feet and stretch your arms up. Stay up, arms along the ears, arms parallel, palms facing each other. Push the buttocks down, your knees not extending beyond the feet. Squeeze an imaginary thin cushion between your knees and the thighs. Stay five, four, three, two, one. Start to sit down and lie down for final relaxation, that's very good. Allow the breath to settle down. Now let's tense the body parts. Lift your right leg, few inches off the mat, tense the right leg, not so high, very close to the mat, and only you can reduce tension. Exhale, drop it down. Left leg, two inches up, tense the left leg, tense it and drop it down. Lift the buttocks tight up off the mat, tense the buttocks and release the buttocks down. Press the small of the back to the mat, let go. Lift your chest up 
and drop it down. Lift your arms two inches up. Make tight fist around the thumbs. Open the fingers, tense your arms, round shoulders to the fingertips and drop down. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears and push the shoulders down, relax. Tighten all the facial muscles to the nose. Let go. Open your mouth wide, pull your tongue out, open your eyes wide, stretch your face, stretch, stretch, relax, close your mouth. Move the shoulders more down, gently turn the head to the right and to the left. Come back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body. Be comfortable, be relaxed. Slow down the mind. Any thought disturbs you any time. Become aware of your breath. Breath is slow, breath is calm. Let's now suggest each body part for a good relaxation. Relax the toes, the soles, heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. The knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the hip joint. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Bring the awareness to the back, relaxing the lower back, the middle back, the upper back. Relax the spine. Allow the back to sink down with gravity. Awareness to the arms. Relax the fingers, the palms and the wrist. Relax the forearms, elbows, and the upper arms. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Feel no tension. In the shoulder blades, relax the back, relax the back. Relax the neck muscles, the back of the head, the top of the head. Relax the forehead and all the facial muscles. Ease out any tension on the face, relax the jaw, relax the ears. What to suggest all the organs in the abdomen to relax. 
Visualize, send awareness, send a healing wave, and relax the organs. Let this healing wave of relaxation touch the lungs, all three lobes of the lungs, relaxing. Feeling healthy in the lungs, feeling healthy in the heart. Relax the brain. Become aware of your mind. Let go in the mind. Let go in the body. Allow the body to sink down with gravity. There are no concerns and cares in your mind. You're completely relaxed. Relax, relax, relax. Bring the awareness back to the body. Move your toes and the fingers. Move the feet and the hands. Shake out the legs and the arms. Very gently turn the head side to side.
Bring your feet together, take a deep breath, interlock your fingers and give a final gentle stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side. Support with your hand and sit up for the final prayer. End the class with this prayer. Thanks to our gurus, Hari Om Tatsat, and thank you everyone.